Hello, welcome to PSC Connect Media and you are watching today's top news. PFC funds rupees 2600 crore to private firm for RE project. Serentica Renewable, a leading C and I focused renewable energy developer in India, announced that it has achieved financial closure for its upcoming hybrid renewable energy project in Karnataka. The company has secured the entire debt funding of INR 2600 crore from one of India's largest power sector lender, Power Finance Corporation Limited. To ensure the round-the-clock green energy needs of its customers, cumulatively, Serentica will install 4 gigawatt of renewable energy capacities across the country. NBCC signed a MoU with Sail BSL. NBCC signed a memorandum of understanding with Sail BSL for consultancy and project management services for upcoming infrastructural related projects of Bukaro steel plant, township mines and collieries for a duration of 3 years initially. The MoU was signed at Bukaro Jharkhand by Shri P H Sharma CGM Project Commercial Sail Bukaro Steel Plant and Shri Pravin Tukaram CGM Engineer NBCC. ONDC and Bank joined forces to tackle produced water challenge from hydrocarbon production. ONDC Energy Center and Bhaba Atomic Research Center have joined forces to tackle the produced water challenge from hydrocarbon production. Together they are transforming XETB water into potable grade showcasing their tech prowess in the advanced effluent water treatment plant at Mehsana. Successfully piloted in July 2023 The AEWTP has a recovery factor of 50 to 60 percent and treats water at just rupees 1.40 per liter. Chairman Dr. Ranjit Rath highlighted Oil India Limited's strategy to position company as leading operator. Oil India Limited Chairman and Managing Director Dr. Ranjit Rath highlighted some key points at today's press meet. The major key points he discussed are. important milestone plans and journey of growth in oil and gas production performance and finances of the company oil registered the highest ever standalone profit after tax in financial year 2022 to 23 at rupees 6810 crore a growth of 75.20% oil's road story and success stories engaging in exploration steps toward hydrocarbon Oil made a hydrocarbon discovery in financial year 2022 to 23 in the sustainable area of the Assam Shelf Basin. Oil has 2P reserve in domestic assets and overseas assets, ambitious target of transforming itself to a net zero emission. Recommissioning of surface miner at NCL's Krishna Shila project. On Tuesday, a surface miner was successfully recommissioned at Krishna Shila project of Northern Coalfield Limited. General Manager Excavation Shri Bharatendu Kumar and General Manager Krishna Shila Area Shri Suman Saurabh jointly recommissioned the machine. It is imperative that the redeployment of these eco-friendly surface miner will enhance the productivity of the Krishna Shila area. Presently NCL has eight surface miners working in its different mines. Secretary Cole reviews MCL at its headquarters. Shri Amrit Lal Meena, Secretary Government of India, Ministry of Coal, chaired a review meeting of Coal India subsidiary Mahanadi Coal Field Limited at its headquarters in Sambalpur, Odisha. Shri P M Prasad, Chairman Coal India Limited, Shri O P Singh, C M D M C L, and senior management of M C L were present in the meeting. B E L adds yet another feather back to gold award in C C Q C 2023 competition. Bharat Electronics Limited added yet another feather to its cap as all its 15 Six Sigma teams for the consecutive third year back golden award in the CCQC 2023 competition organized by QCFI Bangalore chapter. BL mentioned heartily congratulations to the BAE Nagaland Quality Wing faculties who mentored and guided all the 15 teams rigorously with multiple rounds of reviews and feedback to improve their presentations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid foundation stone of petrochemical complex at Veena refinery. The Prime Minister of India Shri Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of development project worth more than rupees 50700 crore in Veena Madhya Pradesh today. 
The projects include the petrochemical complex at Bina refinery of BPCL to be developed at a cost of Rs 49,000 crore, a power and renewable energy manufacturing zone in Narmadapuram district, two ID parks in Indore, a mega industrial park in Ratlam, and six new industrial area across Madhya Pradesh. Addressing the gathering, the Prime Minister remarked the Bundel Khan is a land of warriors. He mentioned visiting Sagar in Madhya Pradesh within one month and thanked the Madhya Pradesh government for the opportunity. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down. Thank you.